Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be looking at Royalty Pharma. Uh, somebody asked me, so I decided to look at it. Um, out of the box, just to save you the time, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this stock. I'm just gonna start off this uh, episode of my channel by saying that. Um, the reason being is because I'm getting too many discrepancies between prices. And like I said, I've explained this numerous times. I'll explain it again. Right now, I'm not in the market for individual stocks. I'm solely maxing my tax advantaged accounts. And I'm waiting for stuff to come on sale. Whether that's realistic or not, that would be your call. I don't understand the rush to buy individual stocks. I personally think you should wait until they come on fire sale and avoid buying when they're expensive. That being said, it's not like the most mismatched price and we'll go into why. Um, is there anything I wanted to point out in here? No, these are the assumptions that I used. And I, I use everything, I take everything money's stock analyzer tool with a grain of salt. It's, I, I all it really is, is discounted in free cash flows. I think it's great for you if to double check your work. That's basically what I use it for. I also use other people's discounted cash flows sometimes too to check my own work. It's why I look at Guru Focus and why I look at several different several different ways of calculating it just so you make mistakes. But the reason I say take everything with a grain of salt is don't just run a discounted cash flow or a free cash flow and then rush out there and buy a stock. Don't be in a rush. All these things should be used for is tools to eliminate whether a stock, whether you should do more research about a stock. That's what I use this for. That's what I use everything monies. And I occasionally have used Sven Carlin's uh, stock analyzer tool, which is just a discounted cash flow. It's the same thing I do. He just did it in a different way. But like I said, all of that being aside, let's check this out. So Royalty Pharma, $38. Current PE ratio, right around 27. EPS, 1.5. Free cash, 3 billion. I don't know why that's 3 billion. It's 2 billion. I actually checked that. I must have erased something in there. 2.02, .02, I believe. That's not gonna make a big difference in the calculations anyways. We have a $16.92 billion market cap, free cash flow that it, that it should generate using a multiple of 20. Again, you can use different multiples, just pick ones that are realistic. Um, generated 2 billion in free cash flow, that will give us an expected market cap of about $40 billion if you divide that by the shares outstanding. I'm getting a share price between $97 and $48 for a $73 average. And this is using, this one is using a multiple of free cash flow of 10. So, all right, let's come down here. This is a problem. Current ratio is 16. So what that tells me is uh, they need to deploy their cash to do something. There could be a myriad of reasons why they're doing it. You would have to look into the company more to figure out why, but uh, you don't want to see a current ratio of 16. It a lot of times indicates they have way too much cash or other things on hand and it's just not a good productive use of your money. It's sitting there doing nothing. But... That being said, you would have to do more research. So my target price for this is $20, and that is using a 9% expected growth rate. It's Graham number, 21. I realize, you know, normally my numbers that I run are above my Graham number, but in this case, this is actually above what it's grown at for the past five years, and I need to use conservative assumptions. Guru Focus has it between $26 and $53. Down here, 
You're looking at shareholder equity, which is great. Five billion seven hundred and ninety million divided by four hundred and fifteen million shares outstanding. You get a stock price of twenty one dollars. Come over here on the high end. I'm getting a stock price of forty three dollars and that's for a 10% return for a 15% return. That is a $27 stock. Now, you average these together for a 12.5% return, $26. So, right there, it's right about Guru Focus. I guess I would agree with that. Um, if we come down on a price-to-earnings ratio of 21, you got a $24 stock. At 15, you have a $16 stock. And at 11, you have an $11 and $61 stock. Using this method, which is just the averages of these price to earnings ratios. Just average them together. You're getting a $19 stock. If we come over here, uh, you, uh, take the free cash flow totals. Then discount them back and use a terminal multiple of three. You get a $21 stock. And overall, I have this at a $20 stock. So it's trading, uh, I, when I used everything money, they had it between 21 and 84. So my range is 20 and 97. I also messed around here and I used a... I used a growth rate of the free cash flows of 9%. And yeah. And uh, used a, using a terminal multiple of 20 there, you get a market cap of 94 billion. That's a $57 stock. I was kind of just experimenting with this down here, but here's a large, here's it on the low end, $28 stock. So... Let's look at this in the bull case. This is, yeah, it's the bear case. You are getting, this is using a terminal multiple of 15 here, uh, divided by the shares outstanding. And we could use whatever number. You could say, I think it's gonna sell at a price to earnings of 25, which is why I do this actually. So you can play, it's a lot easier to play around with this than it is with this, although it can be done relatively easy, but so that would give you a $17 stock if you wanted to use a, pri uh, a terminal multiple of 25 in the bear case and in the bull case, this is a $34 stock is what I'm getting in the bull case and that's 13% growth and that's also selling at a pretty high PE ratio of 15 or of 25, if you drop this down. And that's what you can do when you set it up like this. You can just play with different price to earnings ratios, get a get like a general idea. But again, at a 15 PE ratio, that's a $20 stock. So, I mean, overall, what would I say about Royalty Pharma? I would say you probably want to just avoid this for now. Um, if you're looking for, see, I had this calculated out. Yeah. So I'm working on this sheet here using discounted cash flows to give you a roundabout area of where you should buy based on the growth you're expecting. And if you're expecting an 8 or a 9% growth rate as I used on this stock, you want to look at, what was that? A 12 to a 13 price to earnings ratio. Makes sense. So somewhere in here, so a 16 to a $20 stock, and that's pretty much what I got over here. So it's telling you to pick, to, it, it's telling you to start looking at it probably around a 14 price to earnings ratio, start doing your homework, but I would hold off on it till then. I think this is just overvalued. And I mean, in full disclosure, I'm not in the market for um, pharma stocks solely because I have the Vanguard 
healthcare index fund in my portfolio. So I don't really see the point of double downing. I would if I think that it's just a knockout home run. But if it's a not a knockout home run, like if Royalty Pharma was trading at, I don't know, let's look over here. If it was trading at somewhere around 11 or 12 bucks, I'd consider adding it. If I would go and do my due diligence then and look at the uh, 10K and try and figure out what's going. Current ratio though, man, that's a big red flag for me. So I probably wouldn't. And it's peg ratio. You're going to have to look up what the peg ratio is for pharma stocks. But overall, I would just say avoid this. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I hope this helps. And like and subscribe and hit, yeah, like and subscribe. And uh, I'm out. I will be doing another discount cash flow tomorrow. So thanks for watching.